Hi there, and welcome to another video. My name is Paul Willems, and in this video, we are going to set up tags and triggers for Google Tag Manager. Enjoy watching this video. So in this video, I'm going to connect Google Analytics through my website by using Google Tag Manager. By doing that, I need to go to Google Analytics and I need to copy my Google Analytics code. So I go to admin, and then I go to property settings and here you can see your Google Analytics code. So I'm going to just select it and I'm going to just copy it. And then I only need to go to Google Tag Manager and I go to tags and I need to press a new tag. And I name this tag Google Analytics. And then here I need to select one. So this is all beta, so I'm going to select Google Analytics. And what I need to do is just track all the page views. And here I need to select the Google Analytics variable. And by that was a little bit quick. So um, there's new variable for Google Analytics. And what I need to do is I need to press or paste here the Google tracking ID. And this one I'm going to call Google Analytics tracking ID. Um, you can just leave the cooking domain as it is. I'm going to save it. And now I need to select a trigger. When does Google Analytics need to be tracked? Well, every time uh, a page is viewed. So I'm going to select here a new trigger and I'm going to simply select all pages. So with every page view. So now I can say save. So here's my Google Analytics. I need to submit these changes to Google Tag Manager and I can add a name to it. So here I can keep track of my changes. And I'm going to publish it. There's one extra tag. And now when I go to my website, and I'm going to refresh it. I can see there's one tag fired on my website, the Google Analytics. So when I go to my homepage, there's one tag fired. And if you've done this right, you can go to Google Analytics. You can just go to real time and you see instantly that you have viewers on your website. So it means that Google Analytics is working with Google Tag Manager. So the next thing I want to do is actually to track a hyperlink with help of Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. I want to set an event on this hyperlink. As you can see, if I press this uh, Rubik's Cube website, hyperlink I'm going to the official website of the Rubik's Cube and it is not possible to track this with Google Analytics but it is possible to track it with Google Tag Manager so how do we do it it's quite a bit of work first of all we go to Google Tag Manager and we go to your own working space and there are actually two things we need to do we need to track all the clicks we have so we need to add some extra variables and then we configure the variables here. And then we need to add all the clicks here. So on the clicks, we just going to press all the clicks and you will see they appear right over here on the left side. So I can exit the window. And what we need to do now is get a new trigger and add a new trigger and say, this new trigger is called all clicks. And when we press this one, we say click all elements. And then we press save. And if we go to the preview mode, and we are going to refresh our website. And if we press a hyperlink and I press shift and then the hyperlink, then immediately I can exit this window. What you see here is a new click here. And next to the message and page view and dumb ready and window load, there's click. So if I press variable and then click, you will see actually all the different details of the click I've done. So the click element, it was the object and the, the URL. But what is important is the click text. But most of all, it's the click URL. And that's solve the Rubik's Cube.eu slash solve a Rubik's Cube. Because what we actually want to know is if we can track this link. So if I press again shift and then press this hyperlink and exit this window, you will see there's a new click 
a number nine. And if I press this click, you will see the target URL is going to rubikscube.com slash en slash us. And that's what we want. So what we're going to do is back to Google Tag Manager and we are going to add a new tag. And then we just go to say new. And then we are going to name this link to Rubik's Cube website. And then we are going to add a tag configuration. And then we're going to say Google Analytics. And we are going to put it here as an event. And in an event, we can add multiple categories, actions, labels, and values. But most of all, the categories and the actions, those are the events you need to fill in. So we are going to say here, link to Rubik's Cube website, and then the action was click on hyperlink home page. You can fill in the rest also, but it's not necessarily and what you need to fill in here is your Google tracking ID. And since we have filled it in before, we can just select our Google tracking ID here. And then you need to select a trigger. And this is important. There we need to add a new trigger here. And this new trigger is uh, click on Rubik's Cube website. And then we press the trigger configuration and we say actually just hyperlinks. And then we can say all links or some links. And we can say here, click URL contains, or we can say also just equals. And then here we need, it's this, the click URL equals. Then we need to copy just this and we need to paste it here. Click URL equals this one, and we can press save. And this is how it should be. So we have our Google Analytics, we have our track events, we have a category, action, and a trigger when it's just pressing a hyperlink. So we're going to press save, and then we are going to submit cube website and then we are going to publish it and now let's see if it works so if we go here and then we just press the home page and then we take a look at only our tags we see that the tag google analytics is fired and that's right and we can see that the link to the rubik's cube website is not fired and that's also right but if we press this one link to the rubik's cube website and we go back then we can see that the link to the Rubik's Cube website is fired. And what we need to see now in Google Analytics, in the real-time modes at events, we need to see if our event has fired, and it actually has. So we can see the category event linked to the Rubik's Cube website, and an event action is also fired. And this is really important, because by setting up this event in Google Tag Manager, you can track every outgoing link on your website. So in the next video, we are going to show you how to connect it to a goal and to a conversion. And with help of this conversion, you can track everything on your website. This was the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel.